that rain is coming down and how it's going to affect this game today. Quan Cosby signed to a contract just a couple of days ago uh, to return the kick from Ryan Lindale as we're underway here in Buffalo as Cosby lunges forward across the 20. First and 10 from the 22. This is Rashad Jennings, the fourth year player, former seventh round pick. He's in the ending IR this week. This is second and five. Henny faking the pitch, going on the run, and it's incomplete at the 40. This is third and five. They spotted from the 27. Henny from the gun. The pass kind of flooded out. It's incomplete. And again, you can see the rain coming down. Brian Anger on the punt from his own 16. Kelvin Fielding from just that past the 20. And one out of bounds. It's Patrick from the shotgun on first and 10 from the 33. This is Spiller across the 30. It's Patrick's pass intended for Stevie Pass. Machine Mathis is up, will play, but not getting the start. It's Patrick trying to keep the play alive with his legs, lunges. On first and 10 from the 47th. Spiller again averaging nearly seven yards per rush. Goes 100 plus yards from scrimmage. Longest bill streak since Thurman Thomas back at 1992-93. This is second and short. CJ Spiller. Chandler the tight end in motion on first and 10. Spiller on the take again. Spiller so dangerous. Forced out of bounds inside Holding. the 40. Number 75. Oh, this one coming back. Offense, 10 yard penalty, still first down. That's the Spiller spelled by Fred Jackson for the first time. This is first and 20. And again, shaky start here. This is second and 20. It's Patrick all day to throw. Airing it out over the middle, and he's caught. The rookie Graham, and he's down inside the one. Jackson. Stuffed. Really struggled as you saw that last graphic in the red zone, but they'll punch it in. Ryan Fitzpatrick from one yard out. Well, you see the push up front, quarterback sneak, and you, could, you saw the play before that. Point after by Ryan Miguel is perfect. Pointed out during the break on a second and 20 play. Juan Cosby taking it off the bounce from inside the 10. Cosby across the 30, still going. First and 10 from just inside the 38. On first down, they find the tight end, Mercedes Lewis, making the start for Williams a scratch. Out with a knee injury. This is second and two. Jennings trying to go. Henny on first and 10. Again, we've seen the ball kind of in the thick of things. But now in a position where they feel like they need to win out over the final five games, including Henny on a big third and five play from the Buffalo 48. After Blaine Gabbard was placed on injured reserve, Gabbard undergoing season-ending shoulder surgery on his left, torn late. Between Jacksonville and Buffalo. First and ten, Fitzpatrick to Jackson. Fitzpatrick on second and ten. Nice catch by Graham. Pass was thrown a bit. Things certainly not panning out that way. This is Fitzpatrick from the gun on third and seven. Boy, through a strike. So Buffalo will punt. This is Sean Powell, the rookie of Florida State. Juan Cosby fielding from his own 24. And dumped down right after. Jacksonville on first and 10. Keep it on the ground. Holding. Number 63 offense, 10-yard penalty from range, first down. Anyway, he's their big-time punt return, number one in the NFL, as well as starting the defensive back. And he dangerous pass on first and 20. Game. Illegal contact for 43, the defense. The penalty is declined, the result of the play, first down. Lewis coming in, just 33 receptions on the season. This is first and 10. Never hadn't been doing so well. Right. And on play action on second and eight. Pass it. This is third and eight. First down, a fumble on the play. Blackman coughs it up. It's recovered by Buffalo to Norris Searcy on the recovery. It was open. Prior to the pass, holding. Number 27, 
defense. Five yard penalty automatic. First down. In the NFL draft tied for sixth in the NFL with 13 pass breakups. This is first and 10. Jennings is blown up in the back on second and 12 from the 47. Going play action again, deep down the sideline. It's caught by Shorts, but he was out of bounds. Jennings and Montel Owens in the backfield. Jenny from the gun on third and 12. Marcus whistle to play dead. Delay of game. Offense. Five yard penalty remains. Third down. As today. Seven years after the fact. This is Henny on third and 17. What a catch by Chad Henny put the ball in the money. Second in a lead in average yards per catch. He really likes pushing the ball up the field there. The number eight four. Jennings on second and ten. A fumble on the play. Mercedes just a, a big play guy, and he can do a lot of different things for you. And he on third and eleven. Going sideline. And Cecil Shorts the third out there. You think one of them might have good one-on-one -on -one coverage opportunities. Justin Rogers signals fair catch from his own ten. Just outside the 10 yard line. CJ Spiller going nowhere. Five weeks in the season. This is second and nine from just outside the 10. It's Patrick, a one yard touchdown run. Oh. A draw play. The late handoff to Spiller. Can he turn the corner? Lunges for the first down mark. So first and 10. It's Patrick over the middle, it's intercepted. And look who, Paul Puzlesny, the former Buffalo. For Jacksonville is being looked at and x-rayed on his hand in the Jacksonville locker room. This is Jennings bursting at the end of that last run. So Montel Owens takes his place. Here's Owens on first and 10. Owens, a two-time pro bowler as a special. Five-yard run by Owens, sets up a second and five. Another draw play. Owens inside the 10, takes on a tackler at the five. After the play was over, personal vow, unnecessary roughness, number 78, 15-yard penalty. Since the first down was made on the play, the result of the play will be first down and 10. Good plays, and now they're back in the 20-yard line. That's the huge penalty on Bradfield, first and 10. And he has to throw off his back foot. Well, Kasha, 2-19, and 19, seem to have to go against him more often than not. Second down pass. Third and 10 from the 18. And he from the shotgun going middle. Incomplete. He will hold from the 26. And scores his own 35. Brad Smith. Signals fair catch. Touchback from his own. Lines up alongside Fitzpatrick on first and 10 from the 20. And a side on screen pass. Jackson makes the first guy miss. He's out across the 30. He's had to sacrifice a lot of his personal stats with the emergence of Spiller. But Jackson, such a team. Jackson nearly 1,000 yards rushing last season before going down with a leg injury. Jackson trying to turn the corner. Fitzpatrick on first and 10. Again gives to Jackson. Jackson kind of scooting under the would-be tackler. As well as Boomer could, JB, but I, I had a few of them. Second and short, Buffalo. Jump. They're hanging on to it. Third and short, Jackson has the first down. Jackson on first and 10, loses yardage. Second and 12, they spotted from the 45, it's Patrick. The screen pass finally able to locate Stevie Johnson. Fitzpatrick from the shotgun on third and eight. Fitzpatrick again dangerous with his legs. Inside the 40 takes on a hard hit. Fitzpatrick from the shotgun incomplete. So Chad Henney who has really struggled so far. Three of 13 before that pass. Pass interference. Number 33 in the defense. Automatic. First down. Definitely. So they gain 24 yards with the penalty and have it first and 10 from the Bills 40. And he put some air on it. It's caught by. So keep in mind, Leotis McKelvin leaving this game with a back injury. His return still questionable. And he from his back foot locating Lewis. Lewis pummeling. There's no foul on the play for a block in the back. The block is on the shoulder. He's open to the play. The first down.
A pickup. This is first and goal inside the five. Owens. No signal from the official. Uh, with a head injury. So Montel Owens, the third stringer on. This is Hetty. Second and goal, and he's in. Overcommitted to the run. You see the good hard play action backside, and you force the defense to. Uh, he's Evans ended last season that shoulder injury after just four weeks. And Josh Scobie from the 35. This is Marcus Easley from his own goal line. Easley across the 30, still going out past the 40, inside Jacksonville territory. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, late hit, out of bounds. At the 39, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Here's a direct snap to Smith. First time we've seen this play inside the 20. And so Fitzpatrick back under center, first and 10 from the 15. This is Spiller. Picks up a Fitzpatrick, 77 yards passing so far. This is Spiller trying to find the edge. Breaks a tackle in the backfield, but forced out on 15 more. Now the Bills trying to capitalize on third and six. End zone, touchdown! Right side of your screen. He gets right over the top of Paul Paz Lesney. Had to be told by the reaction from the crowd that it was a touchdown. Offside, number 90. The extra point is good. The five-yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. Timeout. Six receiving touchdown of the season. Juan Cosby signed this week, but this is not ideal conditions to throw the football. Henny has it stripped and recovered by Mario Williams. And now Ryan Fitzpatrick from the shotgun on first and ten at the 14. Fred Jackson struggled. Fred Jackson split at the bottom of your screen. This is second and 11. Fitzpatrick again just taking on those defenders. As he looks on here, third and seven. Fitzpatrick throwing end zone too high incomplete. It has been nearly automatic. This one from 29 yards out. And Lindell it is perfect once again. And lead by seven. Lindell on to kick. This is caused deep from just outside his own end zone. Trying a Buffalo team that knows if he did at least a field goal in the opening drive of the second half, making a key score game, that's, that's a tough deficit to overcome. Brad Smith on the return. He's across the 25 to the 30. 35. Excellent return by the Mike Malarkey. He has to like his position right now. This is Spiller, little juke move at the 45. And after the lockout ended, decided to sign a free agent contract with Jacksonville. Got it just inside the 48. There's Patrick on a pitch play to Spiller. Finds the edge, has the 10 Buffalo from the Jacksonville 49. Fred Jackson over center, has some room across the 40. First down and more, Russell at in the shotgun, second time we've seen the direct snap. This is first and ten. Smith to the 20, and another Buffalo first down. And throw out of the Wildcat was in back there as well. You see the breakdown, five rushes. That's the first pass of the drive inside the 17. It's Patrick has time, now the pocket collapses. Throwing off his back. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Mm. Number 958. After the center goal, automatic first down. That's Jason. It's Patrick from the shotgun, end zone incomplete. Delay of game, offense. Five yard penalty remains second down. A couple of minutes ago, and the play clock again down to one. Second and goal, Fitzpatrick from the 20, end zone. Touchdown! Ryan Fitzpatrick not rattled at all. Stevie Johnson lined up in the slot, gets one-on-one -on -one covered. In the news this week after his comments following the game Sunday in Indianapolis. N7 lead late in the first half. Buffalo suddenly up two touchdowns now. With 11 minutes to play in his third quarter. Von Cosby across the 20. That penalty call. A very close call on Babin that extended the drive guy just one year of experience desperately needed to have that workhorse in the backfield as if they miss him and Jones drew of course started the year with that 38 day holdout they were able to move the chain since an incomplete uh -huh. in the and they've had three substantial injuries for starting running backs 
A different huge third and one play here. And he bobbles the snap. But that play just looked bad even before that. Offside, number 91, defense, five yard penalty. And the result of the penalty is the first down. First and 10 for the Jaguars in Bills territory. Play action from Henny. Going deep down the slot. Incomplete again for Lewis. And a Helio contact. Number 33. Defense. Five yard penalty automatic. First down. Just a five yard penalty on the play. So they spot it at the 44. This is Owens. Inside the 40. This is second and three. And he tucks it away. Slides third and four from the 39. Penny, incomplete, a little bit outside of the field goal range of Scobie, Penny from the shotgun, near side, incomplete, an ankle area, first and ten, Ryan Fitzpatrick, all comfortably now by two touchdowns, seven of 15 today, just over 100 yards passing, there's a first down run by Jackson across midfield, Jackson found the Fountain of Youth last year. Uh, the second highest rushing total in the season of his six-year group. If you give him that 25 to 30 carry, he just can't take that kind of beat. Jackson on second and five. Need to get to about the third. That's what makes him so, so big play oriented. Jackson, the workhorse here. Five rushes. Now six rushes, Jackson over 42 yards on this drive along. Fred Jackson in the slot now at the top of your picture. They find him on a screen pass, but Jackson dumped for a loss by Puzzles. Down the, the flags aren't blowing nearly as hard now. And it's not rain coming down. And Lindell's a pretty darn good kicker, and he makes Chan Gale look smart there. And the 50-yard field goal from that man, Ryan Lindell. And suddenly lead by 17 points here. Quantrill starting running back today down with a head injury. So Montel Owens on the field, incomplete. The Burline in studio, Adam Shine will be the host. As they'll weigh in on everything week 13 in the NFL. Draw play for an interesting play call there. Montel Owens dumped right after that. Mark, who's worse the play oh, there. Number 57 off the, for a kicking team. Five-yard penalty remains fourth down. A little bit of they have enough time on the clock to get back into it, but they need to start it up pretty quick. The Jaguars certainly came in off the best two-game stretch of the season. You know, he pulled off that shocking ups. First and ten for Patrick to Spiller. Update on Stevie Johnson spotted here at 37. It's Patrick finding Brad Smith. It's a very winnable schedule from here on out. Jackson takes on a tackler at the Have been over the years. Second three, Jackson to the outside, make it Spiller to the 20, to the 10, end zone touchdown. You don't think it's much, runs designed to go to the right side. He, we see this on film every single week where he's got that presence to, to shuffle himself back to the back side. Here. Year three form in the NFL. And Jacksonville led 10-7 back in the second quarter. Juan Cosby from his own end zone. So it's a hard hit right at the fifth. So here's Chad Henney. Works from the shotgun. Montel Owens, the seventh year player out of Maine today. None bigger than what to do long term at the quarterback position. As Henney's throw for Prior to the pass, holding defense. Five yard penalty automatic, first down. Let's cut. Owens, the long setback after the penalty, first and 10. That's Jordan. That's for replay, it was a touchdown. 14 10 Bears. Spiro. The first down catch here gives him a first and 10 from just inside the 40. And he kind of pulled it back right at the last minute and is set. Ball field. Second and 16, Henny again, unable to follow through. Bill's trying to put this one on ice early. Third and 16, Henny to shorts, needs to get to the 50, he's well short. Pulls in complete control. Now Chad Henny 
basically auditioning for the long-term starting quarterback position with the Jaguars. A fumble on the play, Jacksonville has it, touchdown! Ruling on the field is the ball, the punted ball was fucked and recovered by a member of the kicking team, first down. I rule you cannot advance a muff punt. So after the penalty, they punch it in anyway. But just a nice route by Cecil Shorts and sub Brooks. Cecil Shorts touchdown grab. It's taken by Owens and he's in. On a short touchdown reception from Henny. Montel Owens converting a two-point conversion, and that's where we... Jacksonville's defense onto the field here, first and ten. Well, today, Buffalo fourth in the AFC in rush yards per game, seventh in the NFL. 9-22 to play this, a third and three here from the 27. A little pitch play to Spiller. And a few times Jacksonville made a good stop in the second half. Bosby signals fair catch of 26. Dealing with some of the same issues that Jacksonville has. No more East Jones Drew for sixth consecutive game. And he's pass. Spiro and Steve. Well, the Rams have played him tough. The second game that they played him tough this year. Oh, big hit. Contact unnecessary, unnecessary rough this contact on the defensive receiver. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. It's remaining. And Jacksonville has all three timeouts. And he just throws it away. If they can score and make a two-point conversion here, we're one score away from a tie ball game. And he from his back foot throwing to Kevin Elliott. Elliott with his first quick. One bust on Buffalo's part, and it could be a, a quick score. And he on first and ten, a little slant over the middle to Blackman so far, just one reception for nine yards. Second and ten. And he slings it middle, incomplete to be Eugene Holding. Monroe. Number 75 offense. 10-yard penalty remains, second down. And now, as you can see, his top target, Cecil Shorts, jogging into the locker room. And he on second and 20, nowhere to throw. 50. And he completes to Owens inside the 40. They spot him on a quick snap. From the 39, Henny going deep down the sideline, incomplete. They put so much responsibility on his shoulders because of how high they are on him. Here's Fred Jackson inside Jacksonville. I call you before the next uh, big lottery numbers come out. It's Fred Jackson on first count and 10, trying to complete the first step of their five-step journey by winning this football game. Jackson buried in the backfield to maybe see and identify things on the field. That's all Stevie Johnson was trying to emphasize. Jackson trying to find the edge. Brutal stiff arm on the play. Tough season injury-wise and playing time-wise. Sean Powell on the punt. Their catch signaled by Cosby. Score here, do you have any chance whatsoever? And he's pass caught by Kev. Tough condition. Buffalo made some big plays. Middle of the game, that's the difference. Let's see that again. Pass interference of the 27 defense, automatic first down. It was trying to pin Black and Zion. So the penalty keeps the Jacksonville drive going, gives him a boost, but Henny is set. Inside linemen that you're thinking about talking about, Carrington's kind of still the show. What a catch on the play, Lewis, as Henny threading the needle to the tight end. comes out with a big play. Jaguars still have two timeouts. They've got the two-minute warning as well. Henny hit as he throws. Incomplete, batted down. Henny going sideline for Shipley from the 27. Henny throwing down the sideline, incomplete. And last gasp for the Jaguars on fourth and five. And he's pass deflected, and Buffalo gets it back. Manager Buddy Nix just basically rebuilding the roster over the past couple of years, shedding some bad contracts. Disappointing half. Buffalo is able to capitalize and has owned this game from that point. This is third and six. Jackson needing to get to the 37 is short. 
As Quan Cosby stands back at his own 20. Cosby from about the 21. Hard block. Cosby, As Cosby gets over. First and 10 for Henny. It's intercepted. Jairus Bird with the pick. Bird looking for yardage inside the 40. Still on his feet to the 30, to the 20. Bird breaking a tackle. Not wanting to go down. He's finally brought down. Pick of the year, as he points out. And that puts this game on ice for Buffalo. So Chan Gailey and company go to 5 and 7. Jacksonville falling to 2 and 10. As Buffalo scores a 16 point home win. And so your final score Buffalo 34, Jacksonville 18. For Steve Burlock.